Admit that you made up the name Watchdog for Brother John. Uh, I did. Yeah, I admit that. We should each send $5. I has to be on <laughs> I'm learning the new streaming service and forgive me let me know in the chat if everything is going well what this man is doing uh, people with mental health addictions he's talking about faith healing um, scars and people that are cutting themselves um, this just came out I had an amazing time getting dressed up and to speak to the children at Karis College Full disclosure, I have, um, my family attended this conference in the United States, in Colorado. They're, they're from Colorado. And um, this is Todd White, dressed up in the costume, talking to the youth. And, all right, now, this is the video, so. Body from a life that you used to live. I want you to lift your hand up right now. It's not embarrassing. This is saying, I, this shouldn't be in my body. It's trespassing. Are you with me? So I want people around just to put their hand on their shoulders. You do not have to ask them what it is. It doesn't matter what it is. What matters is that it's from a life they wish they'd never lived. And since they're born again, they've repented. It's as if they never did in God's eyes. And he wants to set them free completely. So I just want us to pray right now. So just say this in the name of Jesus. Every stain from yesterday, I command you come out right now. In Jesus' name. Liver be healed. Kidneys be healed. Lungs be healed, blood be healed, track marks disappear, cutting scars get out, in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, making sure you can hear me. Now he's going to go into the track marks and the cutting scars be healed. Be made whole right now. Brand new blood. Say that again. Brand new blood. Brand new blood. Listen, I got one thing to tell you about that. A generational curse can go up to a third and fourth generation, but not so with the blood of Jesus, buddy. Listen, it says one that lives to righteousness continues to a thousand generations. So any generational curse is broken through the bloodline of Jesus Christ. Broken because Jesus' blood has placed you in a brand new bloodline. If that's right. You be healed. <laughs> you, uh, listen, this lady's crying out saying so good. Why? Because it's truth. Truth sets people free. Truth sets people free. There is no generational curse that can make it through the bloodline of Jesus Christ. It stops right there. You change bloodlines. I'm not who I used to be. I'm a brand new creation. Old things passed away. All things become new. Are you with me? If you were here and you had track marks or cutting scars, I want you to look at your arm right now. Just check. Check and see if the cutting scars are gone. I want you to see. If your cutting scars are gone, look, I just talked to a dad last night. I just, but that man said that we prayed for him before and all his, all his track marks disappeared. So his arms were completely clean. So if you, have cutting, if you had cutting scars, I want you to look and see if they're gone right now. Look at your arms. If your cutting scars disappeared, I want to see your hands. I want to see you wave at me. We see it every day. Come on. Come on. All right, so 
The idea is that he's commending cutting scars and track marks to be gone. Now, all right, so this is what we're talking about. These are young people that are self-harming, drug addicts shooting toxic drugs into their veins have marks. Now, this man is saying, wave your hands. So if you put yourself in the position of the vulnerable, a young person, a teenager, someone that is just coming into the church for the first time, hearing this type of teaching, and you look into the sanctuary, and you see all these people waving their hands, their track marks have disappeared, their cutting marks have disappeared. You look down at your arm, right? You look down at your arm. My marks are still there. Todd White said that God's going to heal my mark. My marks are still here. Right? Maybe God doesn't love me. Why doesn't God want to heal? Look at all the people having their track marks and their cutting marks gone. Mine are still here. God does, maybe I've committed the unforgivable sin. And then that's where it comes in is all this demonic voices from the demonic come in. And start, you know, you know, and that's where it is, is the poison that they mix into their message. If there was an adult Christian in this room, they should take the mic away from Todd and explain that to them. That God heals today, praise the Lord, all right? God absolutely heals today in his sovereignty. How many people, in, actually come in the, in the comment section. Thank you for my friends who are commenting. Comment in the comment section. How many times in the, in the Bible, Old Testament and the New Testament, did Paul the Apostle come into a church and say, anyone who's self-harming, your most vulnerable teenagers in your, in your sanctuaries, lift your hand because God is going to supernaturally erase scars. We find in the Bible, Paul says that he bore the marks on his or on his body, Jesus, our Lord and Savior, still has the marks on his body. But Todd comes in and pushes the theology on our youth. All right, let's keep going because he's going to get into the story. And by the way, I've seen Todd say this quite a few times. Now, that person, that person, that person, that person, that person, that person, I would say that most, if not all, these people have smartphones. So if Todd is walking around into youth groups telling people that God is healing track marks, he says thousands of people or many people, forgive me, I don't know the exact quote. He said many times, he's got many testimonies that how many on his social media, this is his Facebook, right? How many times has Todd, ben, Todd White gone into Facebook showing his videos of him commending scars and people cutting instantaneously healed on camera. No, you just have to take his word for it. He's a good storyteller. Cutting scars and track marks. If cutting scars or track marks disappeared, wave your hand at me like this. I've got one, two, three. Who else? Where else? Keep waving your hands. Come on, they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. Come on. Look at, I have, when I was a kid, I have, I, I, I have been through, <laughs> I have been through a lot as a young man, right? So, right? You know, these poor people, I've seen Todd do this so many times. Back that up a bit. They're gone. They're gone. Are you seeing this? I don't know if you're hearing this. They injected themselves or they cut themselves. Look, when you look down and see baby skin, you're not the one that cut yourself anymore. Baby skin. Baby skin. They're looking down right now. As he's talking, young people, 10 year old, 12 year old, 13 year old, young people that have scars are looking down because the traveling evangelist says you're gonna have baby skin. And they look down at their scars, and they're still there. Why doesn't Jesus love me? That's the point of this video. 
Now, I too have scars on my face, all right, from my addictions because I got in a lot of fist fights on the streets and my scars are still on my face. So if you're watching this and if you're in a Todd White um, meeting and your scars didn't get healed, I still have scars, all right? <laughs> And I use my scars as a testimony to tell people that are even on the street. I use my scars and say, you see this? God rescued me, you know. And uh, God does heal today. But um, this whole theology destroys people's lives. All right. Let's keep going. Because that one died. Then we're gonna look at the leg lengthening video. And you're new. You're come on. This is the cross. This is giving Jesus the reward. One more time. If cutting scars or track marks disappear, wave your hand above your head again. Do it again. Look around. Come on. That's awesome. All right. Deaf ears, if you have a deaf ear or you have hearing disorder, I want you to put your hand up right now. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Keep your hand up. All right. People around them, I want you to put your hands on their ears. Do not spit on your finger and put them in there. Please. And if you do, it better work. All right. Now, I noticed in my comment section, we're going to get to my comments. If you have a question, comment in the comment section. If you're on Facebook, I... I'm learning a program, so I can't see your comments right now. I'm just on YouTube. All right, so I noticed that my, I did a transformation if you're new to it. We're going to look at the leg lengthening, all right? And the reason I inverted the screen, I realized now that I must have, you know, no one could hear, see what I was writing on this or the Bible verses because I had, <laughs> With the under law affair using public domain, um, I can't just, I have to somehow transform uh, the video. So that's what I did. And I stretched it. So we're going to go to leg lengthening. One second here. Let's see here. We're going to go to leg lengthening. Transform. Hit the screen. All right. Let's look at the comments section. And then we're going to be looking at the fake healing of little boys children's legs he has a hundred percent success rate Comment all right so we're gonna get in this video so I was had zero intention to do this if your pastor is pulling little children's legs a quarter inch let me know we'll do a video and we're gonna break it down for you this just came out this is Todd White this is his official Todd White is a faith healer in the United States and we're gonna be looking at three of the children that he pulled their a quarter inch of their legs we're gonna put on my editor here it is here this only came up five days ago, December 21st. And the three children's legs, there's the first one. Then we're going to look at, uh, there's one of them. There's, there's, there's another one, a little boy. That boy looks like he's about 10 years old. And then, of course, this is the last one we're going to look at. So if you're unaware, I've actually had a few people ask me what uh, software I use. I use a VSDC. This is a free editor. And uh, let's just get in this video. We're gonna, let's start with this one. We're going to break down all three of them. I'm going to show you how what he's doing and he's manipulating these little children's legs about a quarter inch and calling it a healing. And um, he's, you know, this, I'm just going to. I feel it. Stand up. Check. If you don't understand what this is, I downloaded it. This is the full video right here. And I have um, put together a compilation of them right here. But I'm going to let you listen to it and then we're going to break it down. Here it is here. All right. Sit it's this. It's this one. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right leg rub. Right leg rub. Oh okay, that was the miracle there. We're going to break it down. So with my video editor, I have a splice. And then what I do is I splice it at the beginning. All right. And then I can pull it over. We're going to do three of these. I'm going to show you how he's doing it. I'm going to pull this over to here. We'll list it one more time. It's this one. 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right leg grow. Right leg grow. All right, so I've sped it up. Let's slow it down a bit here. No, we'll go at this speed. So I've slowed it up. This is apparent short leg here. Now, in this particular video, you can see these specks on the background, all right? And this this is the leg where all the action is happening. So let's look at it. I even have a line here. We can show you quite clearly the short leg that he's claiming, these little children's legs that he's pulling, um, doesn't actually even move. So there's the short leg, and this is the long leg, all right? So let's let's just go through this a bit. And, and why am I doing this? We're, get, we're gonna break all three of them down. It's important that we look at this. If your pastor's pulling little children's legs, let me know and we'll break it down. This is a little shim sham that they're doing about a quarter inch. So let's listen to it, let's watch it. What I've done is I've taken the video and I've sped it up a little bit and then I have reversed it. So we're gonna go the healing, back healing, healing, back healing. And then it, it'll show you that the right hand is where he's manipulating this little boy's legs. All right, so what you can see in this is that you see this is the, the parent short leg, doesn't actually even move. And you can see with the, the white specks in the background, it gives us a reference point. Do you see that? Now, let me just stop this for a second. Let's start at the beginning. And if you look, we're gonna see quite clearly this, this leg doesn't move. But if you put this up where his hand is, with these reference points, you can see that he's pushing his hand up and down. So we'll put it right at this spot here. Okay, so here's at the beginning. He's holding that leg. There we'll go two legs. So there's, there's that one where it doesn't move. This one is about a quarter inch down, and you can see where his, his hand is. There's a reference point. You see his finger? There it is. See, he has pushed his finger up about well, maybe half an inch, and now they're aligned, but this never, never moves. We'll speed it up a bit more so you can see it. Here's, uh, oh, it's at 300. We'll go to 400. If you want, what we can do is we'll even zoom in it a bit more. So this is a free editor. We'll go right in to his legs. And we'll see where all the action is. So there it is there. There's okay, this is a great example. Well, let's go a bit more. And you see the fingers all the way up. And this leg never moves. So we'll go and play this a bit. See where, okay, we'll move this line just right where it's at the tick, all right? Now it's moved in about that half an inch, and now the legs line up. But this leg never does actually move. All right, let's go to the next one. This was the first one in that video. It's the same thing. This one's a little bit more difficult because they zoom in and out. Longer. All right, we'll sort of split that. Look, come look. You see? You see? Different. You see? You see one is longer. Yes? You see? Watch. Yes, the right one's shorter. This one's shorter. Watch. In the name of Yeshua. Right leg, grow. Okay, so... Same with this one. We'll look at all three. Take that splice and bring it over. And we'll move this over. And put this here. We'll listen to this leg lengthening trick one more time. And then we're going to speed it up a bit. That's what I'm doing is I'm taking that, 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 this, he's claiming this is a miracle. He's claiming that he's pulling little children's legs. And we're going to take that clip and then we're going to speed it up and put it back and forth to show you that he's manipulating his leg. Very simple. 
Come look. You see? All right, so I've split it up here. Now it's a little difficult, and I've zoomed in a bit, and I've gone back and forth. How fast is this? Let's slow it down just a bit. And um, this one's a little bit, you can still see it, but it's difficult because the cameraman zooms in and out. But right there, you can see where these specks of the background. All right, let's uh, do this. So you see the specks, you see that white speck right there, all right? That speck there, this is apparent short leg. And you can also see the line in the background of this video. See the line in the, in the pavement? And you're going to see on this one where he's manipulating the, this is apparent normal leg. This is a short leg. And he's going to push it up. And then he, and then it, okay, all right, let's keep going. See, you can still see the white line. This leg, nothing has happened on the left leg. Well, all he's done, you see the gap here, is that he's pushed, he's manipulated these little children's legs about a quarter inch. Okay, so you see, you can see the background. See how this gap is shortened? This is apparent normal leg. This is the short leg. Let's speed it right up, and then it, it'll give you a better understanding of what he's doing. This is an important video. There's people that believe that Todd White has the power to pull little children's legs a quarter inch. And um, we're going to look at some of his comments in a second. <clears throat> let's go up to, let's do 400. You see that? All the action is right here. Pull it back. Pull it. Let's go back a bit. This leg doesn't move. It's all the action. And the reference point in the back, you can see how it's going. It's moving this little. It's about a quarter inch. All right. So let's go to the last one. And this one too as well. Oh boy. Let me see if I can. No. In this one as well, you can see that he's manipulating. Okay, so here's the arrow. This leg is apparent short leg. Now, I think the most, in order to really see what he's doing on this one, you can see his finger. And you can also see the white stuff in the background. Do you see that? As well as you can see the white stuff here. So let's just play a bit. All right, so you can see that that's a good spot. You see that white tick in the background? So let's speed this up a bit. And uh, it gives you a better idea. You see that? See the white? See how this, this is where his hand is actually moving that quarter inch to perform this miracle. This is apparent normal leg, but why is the normal leg moving a quarter inch? And the short leg, you can see the short leg actually right behind that white speck, you can see is the same thing. And all he's doing is he's playing with the foot. This one out of all of them is the most clearest example we can see, I think. You can see quite clearly, you can see that index finger just moving up and down. Not only that, you can see that white in the background. And I, like I said, it's it's a, a manipulation of the quarter inch of the little children that he's pulling their legs. And interestingly enough, all three of those little boys um, uh, had a quarter inch short leg on the, the left one. Or right right leg row. So the left one is apparent. This is apparently the, the normal leg. And um, yeah. Accuracy rate of lengthening people's legs. Right, he has a hundred percent accuracy rate. Where did that go? Bible verses. Let me double check. Can you hear me? Everything's going well. All right. Where in the Bible does it say Matthew twenty-eight seventeen? What's that Bible verse? And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And then Jesus said to them, All authority in heaven and earth was given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. That's Matthew 28, 19. All right. 
So, did anybody find a Bible verse where the Apostle Paul lengthened somebody's short leg? Matthew 6.27 As far as I understand, and forgive me if I'm wrong, Old Testament and New Testament, other than the withered hand, there's a withered hand Bible verse. But what I understand is that someone that didn't have a leg, it wasn't length. I don't, it, correct me if I'm wrong. If there's somebody in the chat that could help me with that. Do you, are you aware of a Bible verse? Si lo quiero, erros, hermano John, joke, nameless wreck. So in the comment section, if you see, if I'm looking for a Bible verse where someone that had a short leg and they commanded it to grow, 627, remember all scripture God breathed is for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and righteousness, so the man of God be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So, and if you're joining me now, Todd White has a 100% accuracy rate on words of wisdom and knowledge, and 100% success rate on pulling children's legs. Became very famous, a street performer. What was the Bible verse? 27. Verse 27. And which of you, by being anxious, could sign... Oh, look at A single hour to his lifespan. So if you were to rip this right out of context, you could say, don't be anxious. Add a single leg lengthening to your span of life. Because right? it's saying adding. All right. Miracle leg lengthening. Revelation 19.16. Revelation 16. Revelation. Revelation 16, 19. The great city was split into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell, and God remembered Babylon the great to make her drain the cup of the wine and the fury of the wrath. So I am unaware, and I did some research this morning. I couldn't find any leg lengthening in the Bible, and I am late for my street outreach. Please join me in prayer for everyone that has accepted Todd White's false theology regarding healing. God heals today. He also gives us a grace. Well, you should do that. I'm done with this live stream. And um, if you just join me right now, I am. I, I would like to do more live streams. And I have, I have quite, a, quite a few watching me. So good morning. I'll answer questions in a second. Just want to touch base on that. Thank you to my friends who are supporting my ministry. Outreach. I work with drug addicts, people in organized crime, smoking crack, back alleys, homeless encampments. And, um, in fact, I was just on, uh, well, I haven't posted it because uh, I don't want to get people worried about me, but, um, there was one of these, I went into an encampment and they were holding one of these, one of these, all right. And, um, machetes, I've actually taken down some of the samurai sword videos. I don't want people concerned. I work with people on the street, all right. And um, um, please uh, do not go into my comment section asking. There's people that impersonate me with WhatsApp. People that are supporting my ministry. I love you. And uh, I've been doing this for five years. Thank you for uh, people that are uh, supporting my outreach work on the street. And let's answer questions. And I am done with this video. And if you'd like to, you can sign up to my newsletter. My newsletter is right here on the front of my website. Right here you can sign up thanks everyone who stopped in to watch the body of christ faith and cross to know as well as a god will to ever god's will for healing yes god heals today god heals today praise the lord and uh thanks for everyone who stopped in and i will be doing more lives you know i was actually quite happy that quite a few people show up this morning and um that's it so may the Lord bless you, keep you strong in the faith, and remember, Brother John loves you.